Aloha everyone, Madhava here with your favorite channel, Root and Elevate. I'm here with one of my besties, Tara, the metabolic therapist. She's a certified colon specialist and a health coach. Hi Tara. Hi. Aloha everybody. Thanks so much for having me, Madhava. Yes, for sure. I'm so excited to have this special guest today. She is such a strong advocate on helping people find their own body's wisdom, to remember their own body's wisdom. And guess what? She loves talking about poop. There is so much taboo around this subject. Something so natural like pooping, right? Right. Well, today, let's break free from the shame around this subject. We're going to talk about coffee enemas and ultimately, if it's right for you. If so, how, when, and why to do it. Let's get to it. The oldest medical text in existence, the Egyptian Ebers Papyrus, 1500 BC, mentions enemas. The pharaoh had a guardian of the anus, a special doctor who administered the royal enema. Detailed records on how to use enemas were found in places like India and Greece and Babylon and China. What we're trying to say is that the enema is not a new health practice. It has been used across time throughout history of humanity. Dr. Gerson, a German physician who helped countless people heal from terminal cancer and tuberculosis, he used the coffee enema as a major part of his healing protocol. Wow, isn't that amazing? Coffee enemas are an amazing way to detoxify the body. Scientists have found that when coffee is given as an enema, it's the caffeine itself that travels up the hepatic vein to the liver, which then opens up the bile ducts so that the gallbladder and the liver can produce and release bile. Coffee enemas can relieve constipation, dilate the blood vessels, and reverse inflammation in the gut. Gerson's research led to the understanding that the root of disease is most often linked to either toxicity or undernourishment. One super important benefit of coffee enemas is that it helps the liver to create glutathione. This key enzyme, it literally cleanses the blood. It is a powerful antioxidant and an immune booster. One that consumers pay good money for in the form of supplements and pricey IV therapies. Still, prejudice against the use of coffee enemas persists, even though countless people have felt relief from the use of its benefits. I personally have. I was able to detox from benzos, heal skin issues, experience a better mood, and sleep because of it. Me too. I first tried a coffee enema because I had a very painful psoriasis outbreak. After the coffee enema, my skin felt like it was healing. I felt relief from all the inflammation. My digestion started to improve. And then when I felt that mental fog lift, I felt a ton of relief. Wow. Well, many of us, we really need some help when detoxifying the body whether that's from pharmaceuticals, pesticides in the food, environmental toxins. What about those heavy metals that get stored all up in the body too? You know, we just could use some help. Yeah, definitely. Toxins are stored in the tissues and then clear by our most powerful internal organ. The, the almighty liver. liver. Another reason you would want to do a coffee enema is if you are constipated. How many times have you eaten today and how many times have you pooped today? <laughs> 
Also, what if you have skin issues? Like me, I had psoriasis. Many people have eczema, and it's really uncomfortable. Yeah. Or you simply want to keep your body temple vibrant and healthy and with youthful blood. It depends on what sort of issues that mm. we're dealing with. Mm. As a general rule of thumb, it's important to go slowly, mm. be gentle, yeah. and really listen to how your body responds. Yeah. When I was uh, detoxing from benzos, I was doing it once a week. By the way, if you haven't heard my story on that, you can click on that next. I now do it only once a month, but I don't have a specific issue I'm addressing. So once a month is like a good maintenance uh, way of doing it. As a disclaimer, we must say that we are not doctors. Mm -hmm. Allopathic doctors, they weren't taught these holistic practices in med school. So if you're looking to get your doctor on board with supporting these practices, might we suggest seeing a naturopathic doctor yeah. or a functional MD? With that said, you don't want to overdo it. Too much of anything can potentially lead to imbalance. Too much coffee, whether drinking it or taking it as an enema, could strip the body's natural electrolytes. Plus, too many enemas in general mm. possibly can remove the beneficial flora from the bowels. If you are dealing with big issues like cancer, mm. you might be advised by your doctor to do several coffee enemas mm. a day. This can be helpful during these times. However, it's really important and your doctor will make sure that you're replacing this beneficial flora specific to your body's needs. All right, let's roll into the fun part. How to do this? I did a lot of research on what kind of coffee is best and decided for Pure Life Enema Coffee. It's mold free, 100% organic and Gerson approved. I'll put the link below. But hey, do your research experiment and find what's best for you. You would definitely need the coffee to be organic not exceptions. The water you'll be using would need to be distilled or very well filtered water. Remember, you're detoxing the body and what you insert in your bowels need to be pure. An enema bag or an enema bucket is a must, of course. There are many different kinds. This is what I have and what I've been using, but again, do some research and find what's best for you. You're also going to need some sort of organic lubricant. I like using coconut oil, but really any high quality edible oil would do. Grind coffee beans in a coffee grinder or a power blender. Only grind what you need at any given moment. Use a 100% stainless steel pot to make the solution. Make sure you do not use aluminum or any other toxic pot. The Gerson protocol for patients with illnesses recommend three tablespoons of ground coffee in one quart of boiling distilled or filtered water. In my experience, starting with three tablespoons can be a bit too energizing, especially if you're not used to. It's up to you. I recommend starting with one and a half tablespoons in one quart of water and then building it up to three tablespoons, which is the recommended dose, slowly if needed. For the video, I'm just going to do one quart of water plus one and a half tablespoons of coffee. Boil for five minutes on cover. and then simmer covered for 15 minutes. Once ready, strain with a fine strainer. Do not use a coffee maker. It needs to be made this way to preserve the healing compounds in the coffee. Add enough cool, clean water to make one quart. 
The water temperature need to be slightly above body temperature, between 98 and 105 degrees at the time of use. Your fingers are not a good temperature guide. Use a thermometer. While you wait for the coffee to cool down, make sure to prepare the area you'll be laying on. A private place near the toilet is preferred. You can place a pad or a yoga mat on the floor and then cover it with a towel in case the solution spill and you have something absorbent. Have a little pillow. Have handy your favorite recorded meditation or a podcast or relaxing music. Once that's all ready to go and the coffee solution is up to the right temperature, go ahead and fill the enema bag. Let some of the solution run through the hose and clamp right away. This way, no air will enter the bowels and therefore reduce cramping. Make sure the hose is securely clamped and take the bag to your chosen location. Hang it nearby and not more than 18 to 24 inches high. That way the solution goes in slowly and gently. Get a small quantity of lubricant oil in a small container and bring it to your chosen location. You will need to lay on your right side and pull legs towards the chest to aid gravity flow towards the liver. Lubricate the tip of the tube generously and your anal area with the oil. Gently insert the lubricated tube three to four inches into the rectum. Rotate or twist for easier insertion. Now just open the valve and allow the solution to flow by gravity. Enemas can be slowed or stopped quickly by just bending the tubing. It's best to allow yourself plenty of time and space for this. You can play some nice music. I love making it like a self-love ritual, like a self-care ritual. And like she said, plenty of time. I often have multiple evacuations after that 15 minute hold. So I enjoy staying in the bathroom, taking a nice hot shower, and just give myself space to um, experience this natural healing remedy. Ideally, you would hold it for 12 to 15 minutes, then release. During your first few enemas, you might not be able to hold it for the full 15 minutes. Just do your very best. Generally, coffee enemas are held for 15 minutes because what happens is the blood goes through the liver, your entire blood supply goes through the liver every three minutes. So when we can hold it for multiple rounds of three minutes, mm -hmm. we're receiving a natural type of dialysis. Remember, we're cleaning the blood. Mm -hmm. So do your best. When you get the urge to evacuate, just try to breathe and try to relax. Perhaps like lay on your back instead of your side. Try different things because different things work for different people, it just you'll find the way to cope. And normally, the urge will subside within a minute and then you can just relax again and go through another cycle. Note that it might feel awkward at first. Oh my God, I'm gonna blow up, I'm gonna make a huge mess. It can feel awkward and uncomfortable, yet like anything, it's like building a skill. The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll get and this skill grows. So you'll just, just be gentle with yourself. Remember, accidents happen to the best and most skilled people on this. Be kind and patient with yourself. Once you're done, make sure to wash the bag and disinfect the tip and hose very well with a little alcohol. The best time to do an enema is in the morning. Make sure you hydrate before and after the enema. If you can't hold a coffee solution, you can always do one quart of water enema before the coffee to clear the way. Are you ready to give it a try? Do it, do it. <laughs> We're cheering you on for your body's best health. Let us know how it goes in the comment section below and let us know if you have any questions. We respond to every comment and we love hearing from you. Smash that like button if you learned something today. Subscribe if you haven't and when you do, remember, 
hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching. And aloha! Aloha.